Okay, so we're starting. So my guitar rig is, is, is jamming. I know it's been a lot of experimenting on this site, but I just, I don't know, I was at a point, point in my life where I just I had to step it up. So I just made uh, a, a template for drum programming because we're going to start making like jams, like little things, cues, licensing, bumper, just fun stuff, rock stuff. No big motive, just start having some fun and start videoing it. So here's uh, kind of went, I think I'm going to start, I've got a bunch of these programs. I've got, this is Get Good Drums, GGD, which I seem to like this one. I've got Slate, I've got, uh, I've got um, Superior, and I've got Addictive Drums, but I'm just going to start right here. This is just Modern and Massive. And then, you know, I obviously you can do samples, so I'll show you. So there you go. So what you, what you do here is, so I pull this in as a template, and I've got it set up. If you look, you'll see kicks going out, kick, snares going out, snares, you know, toms, hi-hat, got cymbals down there. So as you print this, so if you were to come here, you could come and, print right off of the uh, right off of the uh, right off of the, the, the GDD track and uh, so it's MIDI and then you can quantize it if you want okay and then you can come here go up and zero and boom And then all you do at this point is just take this, put these in record mode, and then you would print down your track, right? Right, so now you come out of here and let's just throw this, throw this, uh, I'll just make a loop of this. Did I just say 33,000? Three, stop, there we go. So, yeah, and we can just, we just loop. So there's your little bass or your little drums. So here I'm going to play, I'm going to bring in the guitar template and I'm showing you this because this is where we're, we're, we're moving. We're moving towards this, man. It's going to be good. We're going to come to import, actually save before you pull in any kind of template, import temp uh, session data and come down to templates and go to guitar and bass template. And we'll just bring everything in for right now. So you'll see. And then there you go. Hey, look at that. And there's this like visual thing that's weird about Pro Tools. Let me see if this fixes it. And it didn't. Hold on. Ay. No matter how much money you spend, there's, it's here. See, you got no faders on mic one and mic two. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not 230. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there they are. See, now I have faders. All right, so let's get rid of this. Delete. So now what I've got is I've got mic one and two, which should be. And then if we come here and we should come to one, and there it is. And it's so that this is now the rectifier. Could double that Br brilliant genius take that one go left take that one go right and now we'll do this see if we can remember what we just did we'll see <laughs> Yeah. 
There it is. And now you get stereo guitars. Look at that. So there it is. So this is going to be the deal. So we're going to start importing this stuff. We're going to make little jams. Put the bass there. Get some bass going on. Let's see. Yeah. And yeah, so guitar one, guitar. They're just, and you can label them as you go if it's Marshall or Matchless or Rectifier or Cleans or Strat or whatever. And then I've got stereos down here, which are for the Axe Effects. And then a master and a click track. And there it is. So um, this is happening, right? Let's loop this, even though it's not really a loop. But, you know, there you go. <laughs> so there it is. And now I'm getting used to this uh, this rectifier. I've been really digging it. And now I feel like I could go a little brighter. I was darkening it and darkening it. But, and now I'm also, I've also switched. I'm using the Maxon uh, 808. Normally I'm an OCD guy, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. So let's try it. Yeah, that may be better. Maybe a little too bright. Let's just... So, it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be cool. So, maybe what I'll do now is I'll do a little kind of rig rundown. So you can see what I've got going on here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That'll be cool. Would that be cool? Yeah. Okay. So what I've got is I've got an Axe Effects. And I've got my modded Marshall. My pedals are basic pedals. And I've got actually this multi-watt. A dual wreck and I've got the two of these even tied H9s in the loop. The loop in this thing is cool. The clean channel is cool. It's really nice. I've got uh, an H or a C30 matchless, my 77 Marshall and my AC30. That's basically my scene as far as guitars. Um, yeah. And then I run all three of my H9s over here making beats right here and let's see let me kill this so i don't blow your head off oh now this 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 is the only thing that may change and this may change in the morning um so i've got three cabinets stacked up the mesa closed back matchless open back and this is another open back vht that has a vintage 30 and a celestian gold in it and I may, I may pull these guitars out 
and I may be getting a 412 here, and then I put the Mesa 212 on top, and then have the 212s here, the two open backs and two closed backs. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But that's it. These are my main guitars right here. My Les Paul, Strat, Telly, and, and um, Jazzmaster. My basses and a bunch of acoustics. And then back there, I've got kind of assorted Gretches and P90 guitars and everything. But anyway, that gives you the idea. Um, you know, and the basic rack. And, you know, I've got a pair of distressors. So we're going to really start having some fun. Um, we're going to really start having some fun with this. So I know it's been a long, long time coming for me anyway. I've been, yeah, it's just, um, yeah. So, but, um, I'm going to put this one out tonight, this video, but this is it. We're going to start making little jam tracks and some of the videos may be, uh, some of the videos may be me showing you kind of making the jam track. Some of it may be breaking it down. Some of it may be to getting people that watch these videos involved. Like, like let people like track guitar solos and I'll fly them in. So, yeah, there you go, man. Getting used to the Mesa, it's very cool. It's so different than the Marshall, which is exactly what I want. You know, between two Marshalls and an AC30, you know, you it's very, I get, I, I'm, I'm well uh, <laughs> versed with that British sound. It's nice to have something different. But there you go. So like and subscribe. Uh, new types of videos are going to be rolling out now. So I don't even know what we're going to call this video. What do we call this video? I don't know. But there it is, man. I, I, I like, I mean, I like all these drum programs. I think this Get Good Drums just sounds good and it's easy. It's simple. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, Superior Drummer is just like, ugh, too much. Like, I just want it to be cool, you know. So, yeah, here we go. Let's see what it's, ah, don't go solo. All right, it's happening, man. There's nowhere else to hide. Peace.